Welcome back study buddies. Today I'm going to show you how to improve your handwriting. So there's going to be three steps and if you follow them all the way through, I promise you're going to have beautiful flawless handwriting in no time. So the first step is finding your inspiration. I find inspiration by going on different people's Instagram accounts and the studygram is a really good way of finding really nice people that have really nice handwriting. So the two accounts that I really recommend are Studying and Peachy Study. Both of them have super pretty handwriting that I really look up to and they were the biggest inspiration for my own style of handwriting. In my first step, I basically talked about how to find inspiration for your handwriting. And this is a really important step. And a lot of people skip over this step because they don't think it's important. But when you look at other people's handwriting, you actually take in and get a feel of what your dream handwriting looks like. So let's compare my old and my new handwriting. So my old handwriting wasn't really bad per se, but it was really messy. As you can see, it's like inconsistent. But let's compare it to my newer handwriting, which is in this year of 2017. And it's really just much better compared to the 2016 handwriting. And that is a one year difference. This is from December 2016. So this is a one month difference. And as you can see, one month changed quite a lot. And the December handwriting was really stubby and short. This one was really just well refined and just much better than compared to one month ago. When I see a lot of handwriting videos, they usually never mention inspiration. And I find that weird because inspiration is one of the first steps of reaching a goal. So first find your inspiration, whether it be accounts that I listed or a close friend that has really nice handwriting. This will kickstart your goal for reaching pretty handwriting. So the second step is finding the right utensil. You might not think this is an important factor, but it is. So either a ballpoint pen, a gel pen, or a felt tip. So I'm gonna list a few of the pros and cons of each writing utensil and factors that you should look for to improve your handwriting. So the factors you should look for in a pen are how smooth it is, how comfortable it is, and the thickness. So gel pens are definitely my favorite type of writing utensil. I definitely can notice my handwriting improving when I do use a gel pen. Compared to when I use a ballpoint pen, my handwriting is just really messy for some reason. So I either use a felt tip or a gel pen. The thickness is also another factor you should look for because I noticed that my handwriting tends to be more neat and more clean when I use thicker pens. So I usually like to stay in the range of a 0.5 or a 0.7 or even a felt tip pen because when I go down to a 0.38, it's just much more scratchy and just less neat. So for my third tip, I'm actually going to go through the aspect of practicing. So I usually like to practice when I do my essay or homework or even if I write letters. Basically, anytime you have a chance to write down a word, practice having neat handwriting. I also like to use this other tip, which is basically writing the sentence, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And you might ask, why this sentence? It's because all the letters of the alphabet is located in the sentence and it's just like equal practice of all the letters. And you can also do the approach that Emma Studies did. And what she did was basically write down the alphabet multiple times. She also practiced the days of the week, some numbers, and some other letters. And this really helps improving your handwriting really quickly. So I do really love her approach, but I do just recommend practicing your handwriting in daily assignments that you do. So whether it be essays or just writing down your homework, you should develop better handwriting within a month or even quicker. So again, for quicker results, definitely practice that sentence I gave you, the quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. And you can also practice the way that Emma Studies did, practicing the alphabet or just practicing writing out the days of the week. And if you do this enough times, you should definitely see an improvement on your handwriting in no time.
So now that I've told you all my tips and tricks for improving your handwriting, let's recap. Inspiration is number one, find your inspiration. Number two is finding the perfect pen or pencil. And number three is the mentality. So practice as much as you can. I know it's kind of hard, but if you do the hard work, you'll definitely end up with a better and improved handwriting. So it is currently March 5th, and this is what my current handwriting looks like. In a few months, I'll do an update video and let's see if my handwriting will improve. That's it for the video. I'll see you next week. Bye.